Hey guys, Alfred Montaner here and behind me I have the Wreck, the Golden Ray and I am so fortunate that I'm actually going to do a ride along with Andy from the Menorcan Mullet so we can show you everything about this particular shipwreck. No one in the world knows more information about this particular catastrophe more than him. So stay tuned if you want to see an epic video because it's going to be cool guys. Real, real cool. So here's what's one of the things that's it's just it's really really crazy how close this is to the beach this is a fishing pier here that looks like it's a fishing pier and uh, and then in the backdrop is the golden ray so um, I'm, I'm sure he'll give us a better perspective once we're on the boat he can give us a, a better understanding of what we're seeing and how they've been doing this and but it's definitely definitely uh, something that I'm so glad I was able to see for myself now now I get it guys now I get it now I get why Andy has been I mean in my mind I was asking him like why is this guy here every single day? And I get it, guys. I get it. Think about it. Look at this. I get it now. Now I get it. It's crazy, huh? Now, very, very pretty beach. I got my daughter Alyssa with me here. I don't have this completely framed right guys but I do want you guys to see what a pretty beach and uh, there's there's my daughter Alyssa she's enjoying uh, picking up some crabs and I mean it's it's cool she's like that I, I really like this place <laughs> she thinks she's in the frame in the picture so wow what a what a contrast the difference between low tide and high tide guys so now this is the following day obviously during a high tide and uh <laughs> everywhere i was walking uh on the water is absolutely underwater so the the tide change here is massive um in this area so the current that must be ripping through this area must be uh, pretty pretty nuts so but listen um my goal right now is to see if i can get andy um i listen he's 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 a busy guy right i'm a busy guy too but i'm in his home turf so i want him to do what he has to do and then see if maybe i can jump on the boat with him um if i could if I could, then it would be awesome to be on his boat to show what he does. But I have not seen him here. I thought his, I thought he would be here somewhere. Like, now, that's like, I, I get it. Like, sometimes me, when I'm at Black Point, people think I'm there all the time, and I'm not, right? right? But he's got a, a Parker. What is this over here? What does that look like there? That looks like a little park right there. Is that him? Hold on guys, hold on, hold on. Let me call him up. Dude, that has to be him.
you think everybody on the support vessels are saying, oh no, and he just showed up. Guys, put your uniform on, put your badges. That's him, guys, that's him. Okay, all right, so, so look at this perspective, guys. Woo, this is, this is kind of interesting, my friends. Oh boy, wait for it. All right, so here, that's where he is. And here is where the Golden Ray is. So I don't know how close he can get, which definitely got to ask him. But uh, guys, this is, yeah, that's him. This is Andy from the Menorcan Mullet. Um, let me see if I call him. Hold on. Um, hopefully my audio is good, guys. Hold on. I'm gonna put him on speaker. Hello. Andy. Yes. Hey, I'm recording. By any chance, are you are you here at the site? I am uh, out at the site. Did did you just arrive like now, like not even two, maybe three, four minutes ago? I did. I I I, I had my camera pointed straight at you. Look at. There's a little beach access point here. I'm going to stick my hand up. You see me? It's, uh, it's kind of far. I can't see you over there. You can't see over there? No. Uh, so listen, um, are you getting the content that you're getting for the day? Yep, I'm, try I'm trying to get the camera set up right now. Okay, well listen, um, you think maybe I can jump on board and we can take a quick uh, ride? You got time or no? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, we could probably get that worked out. Um, it don't have to be today. I'm, 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 I could, I could go in the morning if, if you want to do something a little bit more organized. I, you know, we, we can make it work out. Uh, you know, um, you know, whatever works for you. Um, oh my God! Hey, Andy, uh, Andy, uh, Andy, 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 yep. hold on, hold on, dude. There is a pod of dolphins right now passing right in front of this shipwreck i you you there's no this is crazy dude oh my goodness dude watch this wait wait for it wait for it um andy they're they're literally going to towards you like if you look right now to your left um by the beach access point there's like a pot of dolphins just right in front of the wreck site dude that's it's insane like, like, there's at least 30 of them, 40 of them. Look at this. Watch, look. Watch. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna point. I'm gonna point. Look, they're gonna. I'm right now. I'm pointing the camera at you, and they're literally gonna pass in front of you. Um, at the angle where the beach access is. That is, that is uh, crazy. I saw that there. There's some bo boats right next to you. Yep, we got. Uh, let's see. Uh, some of the. Uh, debris boats that are out here. There's a safety boat. Um, looks like a couple of the crew boats are out here. Looks like it's kind of a, a, busy, a busy day, that's for sure. All right, well, listen, do what you got to do. I'll talk to you a little later. I'm going to get some footage from over here. And uh, I, my mind is just blown how many dolphin are, are in this area. I'm right now on the rocks. And look, there's even more, right? Like, literally, they're passing in front of the the golden ray it's like you can't even make this up dude this is crazy well we're gonna i'm gonna shoot a little video out here try to get it get a little bit of what's going on today okay and, uh, we're gonna make a trip around the ship just kind of take a look get, get some stuff see what we see and uh we'll see about picking you up okay. and uh, no worries if you can you can don't worry about it i i have incredible content which is what i'm filming right now Alfred, I can, I can show you something a little more entertaining than dolphin. All right, all right, well listen, go do your thing, call me, call me to my cell, and uh, I mean, I'll, I'll end this clip uh, zoomed in on your boat. So, wait, wait, I wanted, just so I can tell them, 
how close how close can you get to the golden ray from where you're at i can get back to the 200 yards 200 get, 200 right. yards yeah so that's as far as you can get into into the golden ray okay all, all, all right um all right well let me go ahead and continue filming do what you got to do i'll uh, i'll talk to you in a bit it was that yesterday i was walking this beach on low tide with my daughter and it was nowhere like this not even close so the, the tide changes are inc uh, incredible. So on the right side, oh, look, 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 look. Here, here, hold on, let me get a little tighter. So here is the Port of Brunswick. Okay, oh man, this is good, guys. This is real good. You see that mountain right there? That is actually section three. That is the section that's been cut off already, one of, one of the sections, and that section is towed from here under the bridge it goes from from actually this site right here it, it gets cut up from this area and and then it's transported to the port of brunswick and then and then supposedly from what andy has told me in the past they're they're actually shipping them to Gibson, Louisiana. This also looks like a car carrier similar to the one. So imagine the Golden Ray coming out just like this one. It was leaning to one side and eventually tips over. Crazy. So from what Andy was telling me that it tipped over and while it was tipping over, there's tugboats that got it out of the channel. You see, it, was, it actually was going to tip over in the actual channel. And the tugboats got the Coast Guard involved and asked the Coast Guard if it's okay to go ahead and get it out of the main channel. Because if, if they actually had that ship right here in the channel, think about everything here that would have been stopped. It almost like the Suez Canal crisis, right? So there's like a, a, a sandbar here, and that's where they pushed it in, and, uh, and that was its final resting place. Interesting story. I can't wait to get a little deeper into this. Let's see if I can get a shot of, of Andy on the other side. He's back here somewhere. There he is, look at him back there, just circling, circling the wreck. I'll tell you, 100 years from now, they're going to remember, remember his name. I told him, man, dude, what you're doing has never been done. He's here every single day. Now, he was also telling me that this is going, this is an ongoing 24-hour operation. Look at this guy, look at this guy, he's turning. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 he already has a little angle to the, to the, look, he just turned and all those cars just said, wait for it. Oh my goodness, I would hate. I, and and uh, apparently um, there's no footage of the, uh, of the actual accident. But, um, so it, it was tipsy and that's where this is probably where this is the moment right that the golden ray probably had the issue it tipped over and then they pushed it to this sandbar so it's out of this actual channel look at look at this look at this ship guys incredible look how fast it's going too this thing is moving, man. Oh boy. There it is, guys. It's so big, it doesn't even fit my uh, screen. Could you imagine being up there? 
just watching that every time you pass. Watch this, guys. Here's the moment where the captain looks at it and says, oh my goodness. No, the, the irony is look how close it is to the actual golden ray. Look at that. Look at that thumbnail, bro. That is nuts. It's passing right through it. Look at it. It's going to enter. It's going to enter it. No, no, it's just a perspective shot, guys. Oh, my goodness. Crazy, crazy stuff. I don't think uh, I don't think I can actually do anything better than that, guys. Uh, my name is Alfred Montaner. I want to go ahead and thank uh, Andy from the Menorcan Mullet for highlighting this whole story because this has been absolutely uh, an, an epic adventure for me. And uh, I don't know. Comment below. I'd like to see what you guys say. And uh, wow, that is. A surreal surreal situation oh look and look look who's coming behind him look who's there there's a pilot boat we got to do a pilot video at some point so this is the pilot who navigates the ship out of in and out of here right The Menorcan mullet, guys. The world famous Menorcan mullet from YouTube. How crazy is this? This is this is fascinating for me. Oh my goodness! How how deep can he go here? You better not get too too close, because I'll tell you what. I was walking that beach yesterday, and uh, it can't be too too. This is the man who gives them all the content, guys. Right here. Andy with the Menorcan mullet. There he is. Let's give Andy his thumbnail. I want to I want to give him a thumbnail that we can remember. This is Andy's thumbnail. It's coming. Wait for it. Wait for it. There he is. Look at him, guys. The Menorcan mullet. That's Andy, guys. Over here in front of the CB1000. Let me call him up real quick. Let me call him up real quick. I'm going to do something really fast. But yeah, we, we definitely, we definitely got some interesting footage here. This Andy, this is absolutely crazy, dude. You can see some of those cars, Alfred, have been cut right in two with that chain. Just the, like this white one right here, the back of it's completely well, gone. There's a whole section that has fallen off that they've cut off, laying on the barge. Oh my goodness.